Three, two, one, go. All right, this is super exciting, how to make a spoon. I know you guys are all excited about this. So let's start with a sphere, just a good old sphere. I'm gonna tap the front so we kind of know where we are. So there is our sphere and I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit because we want the spoon to have a little length to it, you know? Maybe a little length and a little girth to it. We want to, you know, we want to be able to get a good spoonful. I don't know why I'm talking so much. Okay, so we have our sphere, whatever spoon shape you like. And now I'm going to add a box. Just want to move it down. And this is going to be essentially the stem. So we can stretch it down. You can make it as long or as short as you like. So this will be like the side view. So we're going to skinny this up. Make it a little more spoon-like. And there's a little trick that um, I like to do, uh, and we'll, we'll do that in a second. First, let's let's figure this out. So, let's solo this sphere. Uh, we'll go ahead and validate it, and let's go ahead and go to multi-res, and then just subdivide it once, and let's trim it. So we'll take trim. Here's my trim settings. All these are zero. And this is five. Okay, so now we'll just trim this like in half or so. And then I'm just gonna remesh it around 250 or so. So we'll unsolo it so we can see our spoon. Okay, so let's clone our original spoon and bring it up and we'll use this to to carve out our spoon do a boolean operation boolean operation okay that looks pretty good so something like that so now for the spoon for the fun part Let's go ahead and validate it. And I want to subdivide it. And I'm just going to voxel remesh it around 200 or so. And here's like a, a interesting thing about um, spoons. I like to use the mask and I always want the back to be sort of like wider. So I'll take the mask and I have it on rectangle. And so I'll mask off a certain area like that. Then I take this area, I use take the gizmo and I pull it away and then I make it bigger like this. And we'll make it even a little bigger, pull it away a little further. And then I just go like this the stretch and you can stretch it out like this and you get it's a little you know you get that sort of you know what you get you can make it bigger and wider like that so the only thing is now we need to like usually the spoons are more round on the back so let's hit front again uh, let's clear our mask and I'm just gonna voxel remesh so I'm going to take the mask again and do basically the same thing. But I'm going to go right up to the edge. And now I'm going to stretch this out. And we can make it smaller. We can sort of bring it in. I don't know if I can do this. I never really tried to do it that way. But yeah. So we can sort of make a 
sort of make it roundish and then we'll, we'll you know we'll fix that up we'll make it a little bit closer i think something like that okay let's clear our mask and then we'll just do a nice quick remesh okay so i think the spoon is looking good it's a little big so we'll shrink it a little bit and I actually want this to be smaller, maybe. I think I want the other half to be smaller. So let's try it again. Let's do the select mask. And let's try it the opposite way this time. So I'll stretch it a little bit and then I'll just bring this together and make it smaller. And now let's see if we can, oh yeah, there we go. Whoop. So it looks like we have to, looks like I just need more of it. There we go. So something like that. Okay. So now I'll get out of my select tool. And it's not perfect. I probably could have started like all the way on the top and made it even, but um, it's good enough. You get the point. So now let's cozy this back up to our spoon. Right about there. I think the size looks pretty good. I'll skinny the whole thing up a little bit. So once you're happy with that, and once your once your uh, spoon is pretty much even with this bit, then we can take everything. Actually, did I remesh this? Let's remesh that real quick. So let's take everything, and then we just have to hide this uh, sphere that we want to do the boolean operation, and we'll voxel merge everything together. Let's do it at like four hundred. Okay, that looks pretty good. If we want to skinny it up, you can do that. Okay, so now we'll take our rounded, rounded ed edge brush and we'll just kind of go over it, round it out. We can take the back part just take regular smooth. We can sort of go over it if we want. So you can sort of play around with it, obviously, but you get the point. I think it's a pretty decent spoon. And then afterwards, if you want it to be low poly, like I'm making these for my little scene. So, oh, one more thing is I want to use move. And I want to put a bend in it because spoons always have like a nice bend. Like this. Spoons always have a slight bend like that. So I think that's better. And also let's go here. Uh, decimation. And you want to decimate it. So, I mean, that's pretty good. I'm going to try to get it down a little bit further because I have a lot of stuff in my scene, so it doesn't have to be that perfect. Oh, and that's actually pretty good. This is, this might even be better than my other spoon I made. It's only 500. Here's the other spoon I made. I think I like this one better. And then you can save it to the little nomad, the new nomad file. Spoon tutorial. So now that it's saved, I'll save this and open up the scene. And this is, let's bring in the suit. 
bring in the spoon. Oh, it's big. This might even be cute as a uh, as a decoration on the wall. I could actually see it as a decoration on the wall. Do a little post process, and. That's how you do a spoon and bring it into another scene. You can do a bunch of stuff and save them and bring them bring them to other scenes. Just make sure you decimate so your file sizes stay nice and low. You know I like a nice moody scene. All right. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. If you want to learn more, check out my classes on Skillshare. I have 2D classes and 3D classes. Be sure to check me out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all Drug Free Dave. As always, keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video. What's up guys, Drug for Dave here, and welcome to another Skillshare exclusive class. This one is called the Kawaii Workshop. We're gonna be working in 3D and Nomad Sculpt. I'll be using the iPad Pro 2021, but Nomad Sculpt is available on iPads and iPad Pros and Samsung tablets. So I really love making characters and doing character designs, putting them together, sculpting them, modeling them. Very cute, simple. So not only is this class all about cute characters, but it's all about making our scene and making our models with efficiency in mind. But we're gonna take extra steps to make sure our poly count stays low where it should be. So we're also gonna focus on composition. Uh, we're gonna add a background in and we're gonna make our scene fit seamlessly with that background and we're gonna add our little characters in so it looks like that that is the background scene. We're gonna make it really blurry. Uh, a lot of artistic stylization coming into this class because that's how I work and that's what I love to do. This class comes with a ton of free extras. I'm gonna include a whole room so you can use your characters once you finish them to populate the room. Uh, I made all of these assets, really cool assets, and I'm gonna include those all with this class because it's just fun to uh, use your characters and put them in a physical space and move them around in a physical space. All right, so that's my pitch. That's it for this intro. I really had a great time making this class and I'm looking forward to joining you in class so we can make some really cute little kawaii characters. All right, so let's move on to the next video, class project. Welcome to another Skillshare exclusive class only on Skillshare. I just said that. Nomad Sculpt. I'm. What's up, guys? Mm. Cute, simple, oversimplified things. What am I even talking about? Uh, I had. Mm. Let me just stop this. So, essentially, we're just going to take a lot of steps to make sure that. So, basically, we're just going to work on a class like Loop, like we. So basically, we're just going to work on a class like we, the minimal amount of. So we're also going to focus on comp competition. So this class, hmm, I don't need to say so. This, I'm going to go over a lot. Kawaii Workshop. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to name it the Kawaii Workshop or just Kawaii Workshop. We'll see. But I'm looking forward to you joining me in class. Let me turn my phone off so it's not going off while I'm filming. This is a sample tutorial, tutorial, something similar to what we do in that class. So if you like the cat's eating and I just got distracted, the Kawaii Workshop. I don't look happy at all. The Kawaii Workshop.